Hey everyone, welcome back to our channel. I am Sharon. And I am Ivy. In our last video, we talked about technological aspects that goes behind creating these immersive experiences. Today, we are diving into another crucial aspect, the design. Creating lifelike environments in digital media isn't just about technology. It requires a lot of skill and meticulous planning. It's very similar to how architects draft blueprints for a building and how interior designers decode the decor of each room. Exactly, Sharon. And for this, designers use some high-level tools. Today, we'll talk about the three major ones, Blender, 3ds Max, and Maya. Also, we will talk about the file formats in 3D. Starting with Blender. It's an open source tool that's widely used and popular due to its powerful features and the fact that it's free. Blender is great for everything from modeling to animation. Next up, 3ds Max. This tool is often favored in video game industry and for creating models for architectural visualization. And then there's Maya. Known for its advanced animation features, Maya is a top choice among film and TV professionals. Now let's talk about the process. It begins by setting up a theme, much like choosing a movie genre based on your mood. This involves researching and understanding the target audience for the environment. And once the theme is set, the next step is sketching a blueprint on paper. This gives clarity and direction when transitioning to digital tools like Blender and Maya. Then comes modeling. This phase involves a deep understanding of the tools. You deal with textures, lighting, UV unwrapping, and techniques like baking, which are crucial for achieving the right visual effects. Baking in computer graphics is the process of pre-calculating complex effects like lighting or shadows into simple textures. This technique improves rendering performance by reducing real-time computational demands. Once the design is ready and we've modeled our environments, the next step is exporting our creations. This is where the file formats come into play as they're essential for sharing and using our designs across different platforms and tools. That's right. You might have heard of different formats like FBX, OBJ, GLB and GLTF. FBX is widely used for animation, while OBJ preferred for static shapes. Right. And GLB and GLTF, on the other hand, are essential for web applications as they're optimized for quick loading times and efficient rendering browsers. These formats ensure that whatever you create can be exported, shared, and used across different applications and platforms, maintaining the flexibility in your design workflow. And there's a lot more to explore in the realm of design for immersive experiences. So stay tuned. And don't forget to join our Discord community to keep up this conversation with fellow tech enthusiasts and experts. The link is in the description below. And if you like this video, please hit the subscribe button. We have many more exciting topics to cover. Thank you for watching. Bye. Bye.